Good evening, manatees and manatees parents. So, as you know, we have been working on addition and subtraction through 20, focusing on mental math and different strategies that will help us be able to add and subtract quickly in our head. So this week we're doing the make a 10 strategy. And this is one where we're going to be decomposing numbers and adding the, um, putting the, decomposing the add-ins and then putting them together to make 10 so that we have a more friendly fact. So let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, so making a 10 to add. So in this example, we have seven plus five, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to decompose the five, breaking it apart. We know seven plus three makes 10. And it's so much easier to add 10 plus two than it would be to try to memorize seven plus five. Now let's take a, a look closer at the tens frame. And surely by now you've seen this come home Maybe you weren't sure what to do with it. Maybe your manatee forgot how to use it. We are using it in class. It is going to be a station, and the, um, the expectation is that they can use this as a strategy independently. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have 8 plus 5. Let's decompose the 5, breaking apart this addend to be a 2 and a 3. 8 plus 2 makes a 10. Super easy to add 10 plus 3 mentally. And so there we know 8 plus 5 is 13. When we use the 10 frame, I've told the children they can use X's and O's. We want to take the larger addend and then count on from there. And so in this case, we would fill up O's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the X's would be 1, 2, and we have 3, 4, 5 left over. And then we know it's 10 plus 3 is 13. Now I've also given them um, two tens frames that they could fill up, so if they need the visual, but sometimes that way we don't start thinking these are leftovers, okay? So let's practice. Let's take a look on our own. Let's try it. So here we have two add-ins, 8 and 6. We're looking for the sum of 8 and 6, and it's important we start using that vocabulary. And I'm going to make these counters. I'm going to actually draw them. So if you have counters at home, it's good. Or maybe you have little pieces of colored paper you could rip up and just the two different colors or using the X's and O's. It's just a visual to help show the two different add-ins. Okay, so here we go. So we'll make eight. We're going to pretend these are all going to be the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our first addend. Well, now we need to make six. So we have one, two, we already got our ten, three, four, five, six. So now we can mentally add ten plus four and the answer here is 14. Oops. All right, so here we have five plus nine. We want to decompose the nine. We know that nine is five plus four. So five and five makes a 10, and then 10 plus four is 14. So we could use the tens frames or if your manatee likes numbers and knows some of their basic facts very well then they could just break down the nine or as we say decompose the nine okay so let's go ahead and draw one more time as if we had our counters so in this case I would make one two three four five because that's my first addend. Now I have to make nine. One, two, three, four, five. See, and there's my five and five that made a ten. 
and then I have the four left over. So whichever way is easier for your manatee, it really does not matter to me, but it is important that they understand how to make a 10. So they could use a model to make a 10, or they could decompose the numbers or add-ins. We try to use the proper vocabulary. So they could decompose the add-ins to find the sum. Now this is just one strategy that you're going to see us use. We also will use open-ended number lines and we also will use doubles which that was a couple of days ago you probably saw using doubles to help solve. Okay and in this case doubles well, it would seem like it was doubles here, but it's really the make a 10 strategy. All right, I hope this helps with homework. Thanks for watching.